This video is, is part of a playlist showing Salesforce's classic approach to email workflows. And I'll do a, a separate series looking at some of the newer features of Lightning, which are really built around specific objects. But this is a unified approach to, uh, to email. So what you do is you go to administration, scroll down to uh, um, email templates, or you could have done it in the search box. This presents you with the, the, the list of, of publicly available, you know, the unified public templates. You can also go into uh, other folders where you may have stored other templates. Uh, we're going to create a new template. And there, there's some great helps as you're presented with these kinds of options and trying to figure it out. Some good description here. I also found that this uh, cheat sheet in a PDF uh, provided real good help. So tips for using HTML. And, and again, this may have been superseded by the time you watch this video. But what they suggest is using HTML, using letterhead. So we're going to, uh, to now name a, a template and create a template. So what I'm going to do is to call this uh, Force 501. V for volunteers, uh, thanks, urgent. And then as we kind of scroll down to the other required fields, uh, we, you know, we create the unique name. Uh, then we look at, uh, at adding in a, a letterhead that we built in a prior step. Uh, th these um, options that are available to you are for uh, layouts worth looking at, but in, in the meantime, I, I know that uh, we can use freeform letter because we're using letterhead. So I'm going to say, great, let's roll into this. And so what now we're presented with is to uh, create the HTML message. And the scroll kind of came down, but if you look at uh, at, at this piece, we're able to, uh, to, to use this to build merge fields. So, so we're going to use the, uh, the contact fields, the contact object. And what I'd like to do is to use first name. That creates uh, a, a, a copyable um, a value. And then as I scroll back down into the, uh, the, the message, let's say I want to post it here. Uh, and I'm going to just say, yeah, let's go on ahead. I had done this in a prior step, but you could you know, type out a subject line. Um, and I also want to put it here. And then uh, add a, uh, let's just put a comma in here, and then paste in a message. And so what I'm able to get then is a merge field on first name. And I'm going to say, let's just say I can just delete this off, because that was my subject line. Um, and I don't need to have that anymore. Um, great. And so what I now have is a message that I can send. Uh, you'll see, again, because we're using letterhead, it, it kind of pushed that into the bottom. And then what I'm able to do is to go, at this point, to uh, the next field. And this says, OK, what do you want to do for your text only? Well, it turns out, and this was from a, another message, that there's lots of, again, coaching around this, but um, we recommend leaving text only blank as per Salesforce, and then it creates it if it's necessary. Uh, kind of worth reading, but it, at this point, know that we can leave it blank. Uh, by clicking Save, we actually create that template. And you can scan it down below to see what it actually does. But a simpler way is just to do a test at this point and see what it does. So I'm going to send a test message. Because there's a merge field, it's worth having uh, a contact identified. So I'm going to use a Debbie Sounder as a sample. I didn't use any account field. So I'm going to go on ahead and say, let's go on ahead and send that to me. And that fires it off. And I'm able to look in my inbox, find this was again we used a salutation, her name in the in the in the subject line. Opening it, I, I get a message that in fact um, allows me the images weren't displayed, so that tells us something, right? So we've got <laughs> Some interesting questions about exactly kind of what all is going to show. But the good news is that it does work. 
and uh, coming back, you know, we basically have uh, the only thing we need to make sure we do is to check available for use if we're actually ready to do that. Um, and so for next steps, what we're going to do is to talk about how to do email alerts, really how to use this template, and then workflow rules which show you when to use the email alert and template. Thanks.